Hi, this is Jack Dalton. I'm here with my local Lao guide, Tom. And we're at the uh, East Wat Soon, right? Yes, yes. Uh, in Tampa. One of the uh, temples, um, one of the monasteries in Wat Prabang. Yes. Quite famous one, actually. Yes. Where the Prabang Buddha used to be here before taking to Wat Mai and to the museum. Oh, so this is a historically important uh, yeah. Wat or monastery uh, yeah. where the Prabang Buddha, the most important Buddha in all of Laos, yes. actually, yes. was once located. In any case, uh, when we entered the, uh, uh, the, the compound of the Wat or monastery, uh, we encountered uh, beneath one of the, or near the Bodhi tree, yes. um, this very interesting, um, appears to be some form of an offering. Which I had never before seen. And uh, Kam, you were just explaining to me yeah. what the significance of this offering is. Yes. Okay, look at this. Yeah. This is just a sand stupa. Yeah. This is a sand stupa. It's done by the local people here. They're making for the people who's already passed away, suggest their parents, grandparents, husband or wife. According to this, so this is a sand stupa and uh, for ancestors, for the spirits. So it's in the, f it's, it's sand modeled in the form of a stupa. Yes, like the current about it. Or in some yes. parts of the world it's called a pagoda. Pagoda, stupa, yeah. okay, it depends on uh, the area. Which is usually used, uh, uh, a stupa that's constructed out of stone or brick is used to yes. put the cremation remains of someone important. Yes, 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 or the ashes of the people as well. The ashes yes. of ordinary people. Yes, okay. So we have uh, incense here, we have candles, yeah. And uh, we have the figures of the humans, yeah, who already passed away. Okay, let's say the family made this for, for, for him, yeah, for the people. The family made this? Yeah, the family made this for, for, for us. Made this for him, of course. Yeah. I see. Who already passed away, yes. And people have to keep this for seven days. So let's say they could not destroy this uh, uh, before seven days. They have to keep it at least seven days by uh, inviting the monks to come here to make the ceremony for four days. This is a part of the uh, uh, holy area, yeah, sacred area. I see, yeah. yes. That's, we have to keep seven days at least. So it's an it's an offering to an ancestor spirit. Yes. yes. And is what is the what is the reason for the offering? Is it because uh, the family wants to uh, have good fortune, the protection of the ancestor spirit? Has there been some illness in the family? Is there a reason why someone makes this? Uh, the, it, it doesn't have to be every year. Whenever uh, the family is free, yeah, yeah, they think of. Uh, the people who already passed away, so they do that, especially for uh, a New Year occasion as well. It's coming next week. Oh, so you think th uh, this offering to the ancestor spirit, the spirit of an ancestor, has something to do with the approaching New Year? Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Um, just to reiterate, the, the tin figure, the human form figure, that's supposed to be a representation of the ancestor. Yes. Very yes. schematic. and. It's, 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 it, there's a, there's a, there's a bamboo pole, uh, which, uh, it is attached to, and that bamboo pole is coming out of the top of a sand stupa, which is decorated with incense sticks. Yes, candles. And candles. Even these, yeah. even yeah. these ones with paper, paper. it's incense, paper. It's yeah. wrapped around incense. Yeah. What's the significance of the flag? Uh, these are victory flags. Yeah. A victory and, uh, flag. Yeah, victory flags, yes, for uh, good luck. Oh, for good yes, luck. for good luck. And to bring the spirits to go higher and higher and higher. I yeah, see. To the heaven, to, to the paradise, to the heaven. It's a really fascinating uh, ensemble or grouping of, uh, of, uh, of things related to, to spirit belief in Laos. This is an offering of a uh, the, the Lao ethnic group. Correct. Uh, uh, even Lao people who are Buddhist, yes, and uh, some of them, yeah, still believe in 
I think he says well. Well, that's that's one of the things that's most interesting about this yes. because we're finding this offering, yes. uh, an animist offering to the spirit of an ancestor within yes. a Buddhist monastery. Wat mm -hmm. yes. Soon, one of the most important ones. Yes. Yes. Uh, here it is, right next to uh, the Bodhi tree with an image of the Buddha on it. Yes. And in fact, and, uh, just just to make this point more uh, forcefully, on the sand stupa we see some leaves that have fallen by chance from the Bodhi tree, right? Yeah. Because of what? According to the Banyan tree, though, is a holy area. Yes. So we put the stupas, the cement stupa, the sand stupas around here. So to present, this is a secret area. So I to see. Worship. Yes. That, right. make, that makes sense. This is a highly consecrated, sacred area yeah. within the monastery, right next to the the Banyan. Bo the Banyan tree, the yes. Bodhi tree, and it's this location would ha which has been chosen for the construction of the sand stupa, the offering to the ancestor spirit. Oh, it's a fascinating example of syncretism, the mixing of Buddhism and a spirit belief in Lien Luang Prabang. So, uh, very interesting. Thank you very much, Tom, Thank for that explanation. Thank you very much.